Hey, I'm Conflicted, and today we're going to be talking about the rollout of Travis Scott's brand spanking new album, Utopia, and we have a solidified date now, and a bunch of brand new information for you guys. Before I get into that, consider subscribing, because I upload music related content two times a week, and you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out. You could be one of the first people subscribed. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I'm a little bit more awake now from filming that first part, and Travis Scott's been teasing this album Utopia for quite some time now. It feels as though it's been almost three years now since he originally started teasing it, and he actually dropped this smaller like set of songs, it was like dystopia thing, and it had Mafia and a couple more songs alongside that, which in my opinion were incredible songs. and. Yeah, all things were going good for the Astro World or the uh, rollout for Utopia, which is this album right after Astro World, until the Astro World events happened. And if you don't know what that is, it was a bunch of people died pretty much while he was performing on stage, and he didn't really do a ton about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, and a lot of people were grieving after that. It was pretty upsetting. I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody was freaking out over it, but. He also released a horrible apology, which everybody memed on him for. So it was safe to say that he was not dropping any time uh, near that. So after everybody had a little bit of a break from Travis Scott, and Travis Scott had a little bit of a break from everybody, he started teasing this new album again. He started talking about how he was going to have everybody from his label drop songs uh, each day corresponding. And then the last day would have led up to June 23rd, which was supposed to be arguably the day that he dropped the album. There's so much information leading up to that was June 23rd. Everybody was dropping a day and a month before, a day and a month before. Don Tolliver, everybody was doing that. And then, unfortunately, that day came and everybody was completely baffled, all this small stuff. And everybody was like, well, that was kind of underwhelming. So we might have a lot more time now for Travis Scott to have a lot bigger of a rollout like he did for Astro World, which was a massive rollout. But so far, it's been incredibly slow. It's been incredibly tedious and it's honestly, some people are saying that it's building anticipation and some people are almost sick of it because of how long they've had to wait for this album and people are really hoping that this isn't another disappointment. We have not had a massive album this year, like a massive massive album this year. There has not been a number one charting album. Uzi might break that, but if not, Travis Scott probably will as long as he drops something decent at this point. But Travis Scott has an incredible catalog before this. so. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's gonna be pretty much five years since he dropped his last project and he has so much anticipation that he has to meet up for. And this rollout needs to start doing him some justice, I feel like, for a lot of the fans to keep that same anticipation. I think he might need to start warming up a lot more. But if he does, Travis Scott could make a massive step and completely switch up the game with this album. There's so much he could do with this. Genuinely, I feel like this could be the biggest comeback. And people are even comparing it to Kanye's uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which I don't know if I see that. But now the brand new date that everybody's talking about for Travis Scott releasing his new album because of the new Billboard Hot 100, like the, the way they're doing it, they're releasing merch with bundles now as like all this stuff. So you have a higher chance of selling more copies of your album. So that started on June 30th, but now he's waiting a little bit longer and people are saying he's going to drop specifically on July 21st. Now, this could be incredibly interesting. He could get a ton of sales with this. I don't know. I think he just needs more time, honestly. I think he just needs more time to release this album. But let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. Are you excited for July 21st? Do you think he's going to drop on this day? I feel like enough time has passed, except I feel like he needs to start warming up. So he's probably going to do within the next couple of weeks. It's going to be a massive, hopefully, rollout. Let's see how this video ages, though. I love you all. I'm conflicted. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I got a bunch of new stuff on the way. Peace.